Okay, welcome to another episode of What I Learned from Bobby Hennett. These are comments on current events, and these might be random. Um, this, you know, you get involved with what what the majority thinks, and that's by the law of attraction. So everybody's talking about Kanye. Well, the videos are in your face. So you look it up, and then, you know, you're hooked on trying to understand the story. Now, I'm trying to spread my videos in replies to other people's videos that are topics on Kanye. So if you just posted a video on Kanye, I go in the replies. I post a reply, but then I post replies to replies. So I pick a few people, maybe five people, and I will post a reply to whatever comment they said. So maybe they will look at, um, maybe they will look at another, um, video that is talking about Kanye. I don't tell them what the video is about. I just say this is more on Kanye or decoding Kanye. Now, what I want you to know is if I'm doing that and Kanye is a quote-unquote trending topic, and when I say quote-unquote, that is just using matrix language that I don't want to use, but that's, you know, there's just a lot of um, copycat words people use, so I'm saying that. Anyway, he's he's um, front and center in the news right now, and that will probably last about a week, 10 days the max, because at some point, he's basically Bill Cosby. They can't, they don't, I'm thinking like they are thinking, you, you put him in prison, <clears throat> excuse me. He's bet Bill Cosby if they can't do they didn't can't do a Bill Cosby on him. Let me make that correction. He's Bill Cosby because he's standing up to the establishment and he has the money to be able to do it. But they're not gonna treat him like Bill Cosby. Um I predict that they're gonna do the the you know, they're just gonna write the check and just write him off and say that he he crumbled under the pressure and he committed suicide. Cuz cuz their their MO or their MOs are always drugs, but they can't say that about Kanye. Suicide. Well, that's their that is their ace card. Because no matter how um illogical it is they will say that it was suicide case closed end of discussion move on there can be people that are bright and happy and beautiful on tv like that former miss america and then instantly they will just say that she committed suicide so um just think about what what their routine is usually drugs for most celebrities for most singers and entertainers they will say drugs and that is believable because that is a habit in hollywood and they 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 introduce you to it recreationally when you're just get in and as a lifestyle of rich people, so you think it's normal and you need, you need this, you know, drug to get some kind of sensation. That's for beast people because beast people lack the melanin to have some kind of feeling. So, but anyway, they know that the melanated person that they're going to get hooked even stronger because their melanin adapts to whatever they consume. So anyway, very easily you can say it's drug, drug overdose. Michael Jackson, drug overdose. 
Um, you can say gang violence. And I hate to even say those kind of words because those are false made up narratives to even say gang violence. It's like an accepted concept that isn't actually proven or true. What it is is murder. I mean, just call it murder. Um, and it's usually one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Somebody, you know, does the killing of another person. And it, you know, it just, just the terminology to say gang, it makes it like, it just makes it too comfortable, really. You know, um, what is the other one they use? Sometimes they pull a new trick out of the bag and say somebody got hit by a car, like Nicki Minaj's father. Oh, he just, just out of the blue, he gets hit by a car crossing the street. Makes no sense, but it's printed. It's done. The ink is dry. It's a wrap. So what I'm predicting for Kanye is suicide or they will say that somebody else took him out. Like somebody that, um, somebody that is pro the other side, and I'm not going to use the words, the opposite of whatever Kanye is talking about, that some, some wild off the chain person murdered Kanye. Now, <coughs> I'm not saying this to be salacious or anything. I'm saying it. Um, I'm saying this as a prediction, just to say the truth, not to want anything bad to happen to him. However, you, the, the whole point of this is to wake you up. You're already woken up to this point. Anybody can see that, that this is a uh, imbalanced. Anybody can, you know, go back in time and, uh, review the celebrities that have finally stood up and said something and then review what happened to them. They usually get suddenly get, um, a almost fatal, um, a fatal medical incident happens with them. They suddenly get um, diagnosed with an almost fatal disease, and they end up in the hospital. Nick Cannon did lupus. He had a bout of lupus. So what that was, they probably had to do some MK Ultra on him, and they did it through the hospital, and you know, made him sick. So that he can come back and be the puppet that he needs to be. Now, when he starts talking about the Israelites or whatever, I can't remember what has happened to him. But he's has a TV show right now, so he's doing pretty good. And he still has some mileage out of him to be a puppet for the elite. Um, Bill Cosby. I haven't even searched him. I don't even know how old he is, but they finally let him out of jail after they taught him a lesson. They ruined his reputation and basically basically stole all of his all of um the records of his talent is all stolen and he no longer owns it. And he, and he's getting blocked from getting royalties from from some of it. Um, <clears throat> you know the people that have stood up, said something, and got squashed. That is why I'm saying just directly, although Kanye is standing up, they're going to squash him. They can't do the Bill Cosby on him because he will motivate the people in the prison big time. They will have a prison takeover in there if they put Kanye in a prison. So they're not going to do the prison thing. They're not going to do the prison game, the, you know, prison monopoly. They're not going to play that card. Possibly the suicide card, because 
they don't have to ever explain anything for suicide. They don't explain any suicide of um, regular, everyday black people. And if you look up the YouTube channel Runaway Slave, you'll know what I'm talking about. Look up that YouTube channel and you are going to hear current events happening in different corporation states of America where different black people from here and there have been lynched, robbed, raped, murdered, um, extorted, and treated unjustly as a current event. Murdered, taken out on a boat ride with um, some Caucasian people, never coming back, totally disappearing. Run away slave. Look it up until you find that channel. Find the channel that's talking about black people and atrocities that are currently happening to them, as well as in the past that you never even heard of. The U.S. government, I forgot what state it was in, they burnt, they bombed, they bombed a whole apartment complex because a black, a, a black activist, um, they weren't really like black, I wouldn't call them activists because that's another bullshit word. It was black people coming together on their own. They bombed their apartment. And there should be no question of why. It was just because the black people coming together, that's it. These were black people that were being positive. And they were forming their own community of positivity. And um, they bombed an entire apartment complex. So anyway, getting back to Kanye, we know the pattern, and unfortunately, we know the outcome. But what is gonna what what ha, what what's what's gonna be next after Kanye gone? See, this is the thing, because I'm just now answering my own question. This is the pivotal point where the freedom that you think you have in America is gone. And I'm not even going to explain it. Just the illusion of any kind of freedom that you think you have, it's gone. They are going to, now, what they're trying to say, oh, and I'll, oh, let me, let me interrupt myself. There's going to be a setup of Kanye. See, they and they already did it. They they will say that Kanye triggered some atrocity. So they're going to set up some atrocity, probably a shooting, and they're going to and it's, you know, it's going to be faked as as most shootings are. And they're going to say that, you know, certain people were shot or whatever, but it was because of Kanye's comments that spurred some other psycho to, and I don't mean to say other psycho, I don't mean to say, I would track that statement, that that spurred some other fake person to do a mass shooting of, you know, these other people. That's That's the other thing they can do. However, what would what would that mean for Kanye? That still would mean he'd have to go to jail. So, you know, the ultimate thing, I it, it would have to be suicide because they don't have, they have to get rid of him. And to get rid of him without any strings attached and without any explanation, they will just say suicide. And they will just close the book on it, and that's it.
And I, I want to say something else, because this is really what prompted me to talk, is that I can see the censoring in my own little post of videos. I can go back. You know, I posted videos. I posted links to videos that that talked about, um, um, God, what is it, basketball player's name? The basketball player that went to Ghana. Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, I posted videos or reposted videos. And when I say reposted, that means I copied it from somebody else. That exp that let the African people know what those two people are really about. About L B G T F H I J K L M N O P and um, what um, Dwayne Wade did to his first wife, which l left her homeless. So, you know what happened? For some reason, I went back to, like, I made the post because I was the first one to look at the video this is like a few hours after the first video of them announcing that they went to Ghana. I was the first one on that channel. When I posted the video, later I go back to look at it again and I look where did I, you know, see if my, my comment posted. It's not there. I even posted replies to different people. And when I went back and I looked at to see if my reply was still there, my reply is not posted. So there you go. That's the censoring. It's happening now. So basically you're going to be in, I think you should look up the uh, movie Gattaca. G-A-I-T-I, -I, uh, excuse me, G-A, <clears throat> I think it's G-A-I-T-T-I-C-A. It is with Uma Thurman and some other guy. I don't remember his name. Um, anyway, um, uh, this, you know, this is flipping another sh um, switch for um, the tyranny of America to be upon every single person. It's going to be upon every single person. This is just a, a step further toward it. You know? You've already gone through the, um, you know, the uh, vaccination shutdown. They can easily do that again. Because... What the what the entire outcome is going to be, sorry to tell you this, and, you know, maybe I'll be, you know, food for worms before this happens, is that every single aspect of your life is going to be controlled um, like even whether you can have a kid or not. Like the generation right now that's in school, they are not getting educated. So they're going to have a class of people that aren't able to learn or even know, even have access to the information to figure out what's going on. And they have to, I think they have to work a, pretty quickly now. They have to work pretty quickly now because they they know that all of this matrix is hinging on the subconscious minds of people, especially black people. So if black people start thinking that somebody's the enemy, well, it's going to have a negative effect on the enemy. However, unfortunately, black people are still wrapped up in this um, fake fraud And the greatest lie ever told, which is this 
fake biblical, fake Jesus. And the Bible, by the way, is patented and also owned by the peanut butter and jelly gang. They wrote the thing. So, you know, there, there's another answer for Beyonce's song, Who Runs the World? And that ends another episode of What I Learned from Bobby Hennett. I'm at the point of um, just, you know, I love Bobby Hennett, but I'm not like reaching, not reaching anybody really. And I'm at the point of almost like, even though I have a lot of videos that I have audio already made for, I'm at the point of wanting to not make the videos anymore because you fill in the blank. This is this is some very serious stuff here. I mean, you want you can barely even talk to your neighbor or be friendly with anybody. And YouTube and the internet is what allows people to get information and maybe have some kind of interchange with people. But when that when that turns into, you know, um text for pay, which you already do actually. But, you know, when it when it comes down to, you know, oh, the internet's broken, uh, it's shut down, I, uh, you know, you know, something happened. And then, you know, then we're really going to be reverting back to peasant days, which is exactly what they want us to do. And anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. That ends another episode of what I learned from Bobby Hemet. We just say Ashe to Kanye right now. Ashe Kanye. Um... If only he could get out of the country. I'm sure they won't let him. I mean, even if he wanted to, they're going to make up a reason for him not to. They, they're just literally going to um, hold him hostage. And and right now, I'm I'm pretty. I, I would say, I would just make the the prediction by the end of the month. They will make another distraction so that the Kanye story dies down and they can do their, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's bullshit, you know, people buying shit and all this stuff and forget about Kanye. And then after some other time, well, they'll say, well, he's in a rehab or some shit like that. And then they'll just make them disappear. But, as Obi-Wan Kenobi said, you can kill me, but I just get stronger. And Kanye can be very strong because he's awake on some level. He's not all the way awake, but he's awake on a material, thinking about material things and who's, who's owning things. But boys and girls, the material means nothing. It's just a whole bunch of junk. This this whole place needs to finish. This whole place needs to finish. And I'm going to stop talking now. All thanks to Bobby Hemet, the end. <laughs>